Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to find out what kind of RAM or memory you're using on your computer. So RAM is stands for random access memory and it's one of the most basic upgrades most people make to their computers. And in most computers there's additional slots of memory that you can actually add more memory to help speed up the performance of your computer and that is why a lot of people will upgrade their RAM or memory over the course of their computer's lifetime as it's really not that difficult to replace. However, in order to replace or upgrade RAM you need to know what kind of RAM you're currently using. So while you can physically open up your computer and look for the memory slots and then actually take the RAM out and look at that, um, in this tutorial I will be showing you how to do it without opening up your computer case. Even though some people will caution you about shorting out your system with static electricity, um, I've never really worried that much about it. I'm sure some people would disagree with that statement, but so that's just kind of how I operate. But rather than do that, um, there's a couple different options we could proceed with. Um, if you have a third-party manufactured computer like Dell, HP, Acer, Toshiba, or something along those lines, uh, the computer manufacturer support should actually be able to provide you information regarding what kind of system specs you're using, including RAM and memory. Um, you can also Google what your computer model is online and you should have at least a third party website should be able to provide you with information specifically about memory because that is something that a lot of people do want to know about and since computer manufacturers usually will produce hundreds of thousands if not millions of any one given computer model um, it's really no surprise and it should not be shocking that you can find out a lot of information about your specific computer online so I'm going to just disregard all that other stuff and assume that we're using a custom built PC here or we don't know what our computer manufacturer is or just something that will answer anyone's questions no matter what kind of computer you have and that is what we're going to go into today so we're going to start by heading over to the internet uh, we can open up any web browser you want here and what you want to do is type in CPU and then Z, CPU-Z so it should be one of the first links on the Google search result depending if you're using ad blocker or not um, it might vary on the search result but this is the official web page here. So if you scroll down, you see there's a download button for version 1.77. At the time of this recording, I'm sure there'll be newer versions as this video becomes more and more outdated. But anyway, we're gonna left click on the option that says set up English. Um, I mean, obviously if you speak Chinese and you'd rather do the Chinese setup, go right ahead for it but these downloads are for both 32 and 64 bit versions of Windows so just left click on it and then it'll say the executable is ready for download so I'm going to click download now and we can see that it's finished downloading so I'm going to select run you could save it to a desktop if you wanted to but I just like to run the executable right away so if you receive a user account control window or a user account control pop-up select yes to allow it to run and then just follow along with the license agreement um, if you want to read it go ahead for it but I'm just going to proceed to click on next I'm going to keep it in the default folder and I'm going to create a desktop icon for it and keep in mind you can uninstall this program when you're done finding out what RAM or memory your computer uses so you don't have to permanently keep this on your computer so I'm going to uncheck this readme I might only need to open that up so instead, I'm going to actually just open up the program directly. So you have to have a Ministry of Privileges in order to open it. So just keep that in mind. Uh, most people do, so that should not be a problem. In any case, left click on Yes. And it just will take a couple moments to load here, especially the first time you open it up. So up at the top here, there's a several different tabs that give you information about your computer. And there's actually a lot of really great information you can find out. But for our purposes in this video tutorial, we're going to head over to the memory tab. We can see how much RAM is on our computer right here. So keep in mind that there's 1,024 megabytes in one gigabyte. So two gigabytes would be 2,048. 
So since I'm on a virtual machine, it doesn't give us as much information as you guys probably will have under here. Just keep in mind the most important areas is the type and the size. The type will tell you what type of memory you have. Some older computers will be DDR2. Newer computers will either have DDR3 or DDR4, even though that is more rare, um, the later of the two. As well as the fact that underneath channel number, this will tell you how many memory modules you have available on your computer. So usually the memory will be distributed evenly. So if you have four gigabytes on your computer, there will be two channels, one of two gigabytes, and the other one with two gigabytes on it. So just keep that in mind as well as, and also before trying to buy additional RAM, check your motherboard's website to see specifically how much memory is supported on that motherboard because that is the limiting factor in how much memory you can incorporate into your computer. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.